What's going on YouTube? What is happening everybody? This is Steve bringing you a little more aqua porn and a brief update with my do-it-yourself reef controller using Arduino. Been working on incorporating or integrating the sunrise sunset code into the user interface, my touch screen here. As you saw in the last video, I was able to incorporate the height of the sunset or the maximum level that the LEDs go to in the in the sunrise and save that at EEPROM so the next step was to work on getting the code to work with uh, a timer or to be able to set the sunrise itself so on the right hand side here you see that it reports the maximum brightness of each channel the percentage you can go to that screen now this is a number between 0 and 255 so you can set that save it on EEPROM and I won't go over that because we saw that in the last video so we're gonna go over here and this was the screen I'm working on now this is gonna set all my lighting effects turn on all the lighting effects on or off and a special special thank you to Ben Jaff a really cool guy he wrote this code but not only did he write the code but he actually took the time to help me integrate this into my system now integrating the timer uh, some sacrifices had to be made and it was a little a uh, little tricky uh, simply because the matrix how it works is it calculates seconds from midnight zero hours zero minute and it calculates it for the whole day to 24 hours zero minute so in order to cause no conflict I had to make some sacrifices and had to uh, to set some things some parameters shall we say so the sunrise sunset it's a 12 hour fixed schedule and within that 12 hour fixed schedule there is a two hour dawn period where only the actinics are on and a two hour dusk period as well where only the actinics are on. Also in order to not create conflict the ramp up and the dim down are only 14 minutes from left to right. I was a little worried that this would affect uh, how it looks because I had it at 30 minutes before I was able to incorporate it. I actually had it going across in about 30 minutes before it reached full bright and actually shortening the period down to a 14 minute from left to right smoothed it out and made it look better so I'm a little I'm really happy with how that turned out as well so in order not to go over those barriers and cause mathematical conflicts you can only set the uh, sunrise between 1 a.m. and 11 a.m. which isn't very bothersome you know I, I don't know too many people or myself included that are going to set the sunrise for later than that. Uh, I think 11 would be the absolute latest I would consider setting it anyway. And uh, so you can just go here and that will change the times for you. So that's the sunrise beginning at 11 a.m. all the way to 1 a.m. The enter button here saves it at EEPROM so if you lose power you can, it won't uh, it, it'll come back and you won't have to reset it now the minutes in order not to cause conflict and not in order to make it easier I only set it at 15 minute increments so you can set it on the 45 the 30 the 15 or the 0 and uh, you know some people might not like that but like uh, no big whip to me keep it simple stupid uh, and that you know is fine with me if you want to go out there and just set this to 907 go right ahead but uh, you know it's not gonna work on my program you'd have to fix it and I don't know if you noticed but you know this is the the fixed time that Sun sets so when when I move the when I move the, that that'll move with it just to let you know and it's in red so you know that you can't change that you're, that you're changing that up there Another thing that I've been working on is the lunar code. Haven't gotten to the weather yet, 
but the lunar code I'll be able to turn it on and off from here so if I want the lunar program running uh, I'll hit that button it'll be green when it's on red when it's off and I've been I've started the lunar code now keep your eye on this part of the screen right here because I've got the the calculation to calculate the lunar phase in right now but something's wrong and you'll see right now boom it cycles through every phase until it fi finally gets to waning crescent which is the current moon phase right now however I can't figure out why we'll see it again see if I can get a little better focus in on it turn the camera maybe a little bit that way to, here we go right here maybe that maybe you'll see it better here so I, I don't know what's going on there I'm still jamming that out we'll figure it out but I just wanted to update you all on that uh, making some great progress again thank you to Ben Jeff at the Planet Tank for all your patience their help uh, was really kind of you to just go out of your way I know you know we're all busy and you know even though I was blowing up your thread over there appreciate the help really do I'm glad and uh, pretty excited that it's all incorporated now uh, if you know anything about the lunar phase brother come on down to AQ Center and help me out anybody else interested in this build uh, I'm gonna leave a link to the code below if you make improvements on it please let me know please help me out uh, and also a link to the build come on down and join us a good group of guys there just hanging out talking about this stuff uh, and growing more and more guys down there every day guys and gals I don't know if they're guys or girls everybody's got a screen name so come on down check it out aqcenter.net I'll leave the links below thanks again for watching comment rate subscribe catch you next time